you surprised with how far you made into the game? Are you happy with the way you played the game? I'm I'm super um, surprised. I I think my family is even more surprised. They were like, oh, she's getting out the first day. <laughs> I mean, I've never camped a day in my life. Like, there's there's no way. I I I, I don't like bugs. I don't sleep in dirt. Like that's not my thing. <laughs> But I, I am upset because I think when I realize, like, wow, I'm really playing this game and I'm really good at it, um, I blew it. You know, I voted out Tarzan, my biggest mistake. Tarzan was, like, my loyal alliance. He did whatever I said. I always knew who he was voting, and I also knew what Christina was voting all the time. And I think I let him go too early. You know, it's three on three. I won immunity. Raw rocks. And let's just, let fate be where it may. Like, let it just fall. And I, I totally do it. But why Tarzan? Um, I love Tarzan. Everybody saw him as an outsider. And I know he doesn't have kids. And, and uh, I wanted to be like that. I wanted to have that. I wanted to find a way I, where I could relate to him. And it, I knew it was going to be the daughter-father role. And that, that was my strategy. Honestly, it was strategy to get to know him. But when I got to really know him, I actually fell in love with him, you know, as a person. And I understood who he was. And a lot of people didn't. And so I, I think a lot of people are like, why is this guy here? Why is he not here? But I really, I really do value my my relationship with Tarzan. But what I find odd is he called you a bitch for winning a challenge. Was that <laughs> real or was that just an act? No, act? that was an act. He was not mad. He was just at, he was at the last. He knew that he was on the edge of getting voted off, and he he was like, well, maybe if I start acting a little crazy, like people would people would still keep me around because. Now they're, you know, I'm really annoying people, you know. So I, I do know that that was an act. He did, he was very proud of me, and he even, he even called me um, later or earlier this week saying that he was. So it's just refreshing. I get these awesome emails <laughs> from him that I don't understand <laughs> one word, but um, <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> now, were you closer to him or Colton? Oh, Tarzan, for sure. Colton, I was put in a bad situation. I, and, I, and I think people uh, misunderstood that whole thing. Um, they thought that I made an alliance with Colton. No, I never did. I was I was making the best out of where, I, where my cards were dealt. I was put on an, on an island with nobody from my alliance. So I needed to get myself back to the girls. And so I knew that Colton was running that whole men thing. So I was like, I need to work with him. And that's what I did. And we saw you get very emotional tonight in the reunion show when Jeff asked you about that comment you made with your special needs students. What was the reaction like from, from people at the school when they heard that comment come across? You know what? Um, my school has been very supportive, and they know the type of person I am. And um, they back me up 100%. They understand that this is a game, and, you know, sometimes we say things that we shouldn't say. And um, I can't... I can't I mean, I love them. They're awesome. They have been awesome to me this whole entire time. So they have my back. <laughs> so to flip it to the end of the game, it, it seemed like you were all afraid to vote off Kim. Were you just super loyal to her? Or what was the deal? Because it was so frustrating as a viewer, because it was so obvious she was going to win the game if you guys didn't flip. Why not make that move? Right. Um, I honestly really thought it was my, I think my ego got in the way of it. And I honestly thought I would win regardless sitting next to her. I mean, I own Christina and Tarzan. Like, I mean, I thought I, I had it. And at the same time, I'm taking a, a best friend with me and sharing this experience with her. So, and I think that's what we all felt that, you know, we all felt that we had a chance and that even though. And then we still got to do this with our friends. And that's what I think got mixed up in all this. But you know what? If I play again, I am not playing with my heart. <laughs> well, last question. I hear there's something beyond Survivor coming out with you, right? Pretty yeah. soon. <laughs> Tell us about it. I'm super excited. Um, my first single is coming out on iTunes. Um, it should be up on Wednesday. So it's called Free, and I hope everybody enjoys it. It's, it's definitely um, a reflection of my experience. Uh, being on Survivor and just kind of what I've been dealing with and how I've been perceived and so I mean I love it so I hope I hope everybody listens to it and gets their song on iTunes. <laughs> well it was an honor to meet you congratulations on how far you made it thank you so much have a good one take care Bye -bye.